Hello everyone, um, that's the way I start all my videos, hello everyone, but anyway, regardless, I have some, um, stuff to be, uh, showed off in the current video, um, so, so we did get some stuff today, some, um, computers and stuff, firstly, we got this Dimension 2400, it's got a 40 gigabyte hard drive, uh, dial-up card, of course, 256 megs, one chip, by the way, of um, DDR333 RAM. I don't know the process. I'm gonna check it out right now. Let's see which, which cord goes to this thing. Hang on. My brother said he tested this so out. I'm not entirely sure. Oh yeah, yeah it, this has a 40 gig hard drive, I think. I'm not entirely sure why I unplugged the entire thing, but he did. I apologize. Sorry. Okay, so once we're ready to boot up, don't worry. You said it has a 40 gig uh, hard drive IDE, of course, since it is a 2400. And we also got this monitor right here. It's a Dell monitor. It's very similar to the one we already have here, except it's a little bit bigger on the edges. Um, and I guess it works. I think it's 20, 1024 by 768. Okay, so it's got 2.4 gigahertz Pentium 4. I'm almost out of uh, SD card space, so uh, don't be surprised if the video shuts off on you soon. <clears throat> wow, this video kind of sucks. I'm sorry, but like you know, I'm sure it all sucks. My camera work, all that good stuff. Anyway, that's another crappy video. I think I should try to uh, make videos where I put a little more editing in, you know, put an intro in, stuff like that. Anyway. Right here I have a PS3. I have not tested this out yet, by the way. Okay. I don't think I broke anything, by the way. And low on battery power. Just charge the batteries. Low on battery power. So that's what you got in there. I think this is a power supply thing right here. And uh, we, we it came with another one for some reason. Um, right here, there's the second one. Power supply module. For some reason, I think. I think it's the second one. Oh, maybe it's supposed to go on like that. I don't know. I don't know the the dynamics of a uh, PlayStation. Oh, and by the way, we got a bunch of computer stuff last week, but we haven't um, made a video on it. My brother is crazy. He'll take a video. He'll say, oh, the video will suck. The guy will re record it over again. He'll redo the entire video and say, oh, it's like 14 minutes. I have to do it all over again. We'll do it all over again. And he'll never actually get it onto his computer and upload it. So anyway... This is the top, I think, to the PlayStation or something. Wait, is it the top? I don't know. It's some part to it. Uh, that the stuff is sitting on here. It's a curved part. We have three SATA hard drives. The only thing is, right in here, someone dropped a hole in one. You can see the bottom of a disc in there. Uh, this one was, I, I am putting emphasis on the was, a 256. I mean, 250. Man, am I used to saying 256. 250 gigabyte SATA hard drive. Um, I'm not sure if it's at all functional yet since uh, it did drill in there, but I'm, it doesn't look like they actually hit the, uh, the disc in there, but usually there are two discs. But the weird thing is, there's, um, well, if there were two discs, and if they had hit one, it would have smashed one. It didn't smash one at all. So there's, there was nothing banging around in here, so I guess I didn't break anything, so it might actually still work. And that would be a very nice surprise if it did work. We have two others right here. One is 120 gigabyte. I tried drilling through it here, but they didn't make it through the cover, thankfully. And yes, they are all SAPA. Crap, don't want to put stuff down like that. And this one is... This one is a 120 gigabyte as well. And I did the same thing on this one. I tried drilling through it somewhere, but it really didn't get very far at all. It looks deep from this camera angle, I think, but it really isn't deep at all. It's like a little indentation, practically. I um, also got this USB Linksys with, with a speed boost here. It's a uh, wireless G USB network adapter. That's nice. Um, we have PCI cards for our network adapters, the wireless ones, but I guess that's one, this one's a USB. 
Oh dear. Um, we have a bunch of speakers here. Some some speakers. Yes. My brother Brian says he needs these for the uh, for um for what? For one of his surround sound systems he's been making. He has one in his room. And I set up an E five twenty one in his room. Hey, I should make a video about that. You know, there's a PS two keyboard under here. It's a it's the old. Dell type, I'm not sure if you're familiar with them or not, but it's, it's the old Dell PS2 type of keyboard right under there. I mentioned the speakers, I guess we have four of them now, four more of them. This is what the other one looks like. That type, of, those speakers, these speakers are pretty good, not great, but I've, I've used the same type before. Okay, so I, I think I'm missing something. Yes, I have to be missing something. Well, I also got this USB cord mailed. The female. It was hooked up to the uh, Linksys thing right here. And uh, tell you what, since I don't make, feel like making a separate video about all the stuff we got last week, I'm just gonna tie it into here. So all the stuff I showed you is what we got today. Actually, roughly uh, maybe like three hours ago we got all this stuff. But I'm gonna show you most of what we got last week. I say mostly because. I, I'm sure I'm going to forget something. I will forget something, and I, I honestly can't remember what was what was obtained when. Um, so I'm going to try to recall here. I can't remember if that was one we got last week. I can't remember if this was one of them. Wait, no, this was one of them. This is a motherboard. We have two of these motherboards now. Sorry about the terrible lighting. Um, I'm too lazy to fix that. Anyway, it's got DDR and uh, what's it called? SDR RAM slots. Um, we have one of these motherboards and another computer around here. This one right here. Uh, we've talked about it. Another computer of ours. I mean, another video of ours. Um, it has a motherboard that supports two different types of RAM, and it has this AMD socket in it. it supports like AMD Athlons, a bunch of PCI slots, five of them right there. EGP. IDE uh, connectors, um, all that good stuff. I don't think it had a hard drive in it or anything. Um, no, no RAM, no CPU, but it's still oh, okay. Maybe it did have a CPU in it. I can't remember. Uh, I think we also got this thing. Actually, actually, I, I didn't mention what this was. Uh, it doesn't have a name on it. Whatever. Never mind. We also got this thing here. What a beautiful beautiful CD, dr CD drive label. And it just says warning, derpa derpa derp, whatever. Um, is This is a star. Never heard of the uh, star company before. And this is one with a uh, socket 478. I think it has a 1.4 Pentium 4 in it. Five PCI slots. HP slot. Again, you can't see crap, but Whatever. Um, well, it has SDR um, RAM slots. Correct me if I'm calling a certain type of RAM SDR. I, I just call it that. I think it's what it's called. I'm not entirely sure though. Uh, I can't remember if I, a, if I had a hard drive in it or not. And by the way, we, we really haven't been doing a whole lot of computer work lately. Um, we've been doing extremely infrequent computer work, so remember anything. We also got this card. It's an ATI. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how, how good it is. I, th I think it's a 128. But this is something I haven't really seen before in cards. It has the DVI and the cord simply connects the DVI to the VGA. So the card itself is not hooked up to the VGA connect, I mean the VGA uh, output. The, the DVI is hooked up to the VGA. So the card basically puts a DVI then if you want to use VGA it converts into VGA for that out. We also got a uh, another video card. It's in the Dimension XPS 600 of ours, I think. It's a 128 megabyte 256 bit card. I haven't tested it out to see how run good it runs games. This is put in this computer right over here. I'm, you might recognize it if you, if you see my other videos. It's like a 2005 gaming PC or so. Um, because the reason I haven't tested it out is because I wiped the hard drive and reinstalled the operating system. Well, actually, I wiped it, then installed, not reinstalled, but installed the operating system so I can sell it. No, no one really wants to buy it yet. It's a ghost. 
this king's speaker fell over. Um, my, my dad might want it actually. Uh, but uh, yeah. Anyway, I I put a fresh copy though last time. I don't want to install games on it. Then I have to wipe it again. I don't know where this thing came from. Uh, oh no, we've had this for a while. I think. Yeah, it's some um, some HP. <sighs> Forgetting so many things. We also got this Pentium 2, I think it is. I don't know, it's like 500 megahertz or something. Anyway, I took that out of the computer because, you know, taking Pentium processors really doesn't do, do much harm. I mean, who knows? Maybe I'll sell them on eBay, like a bundle of 10 Pentium 3 processors. I don't know. I usually t take stuff I know will almost never sell, but I take it anyway. Okay, let me see this here. I think we got this last week, too. I, I could be wrong, again. Oh, this thing has an AMD Athlon socket. I think that's SDR RAM in there. Again, you can't see crap. AGP slot. This has a pretty basic VGA DVI card in there. Okay, you, you can't see anything. So, there's really no point to having the camera on. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty basic computer. It probably has like an F1 1.4 or 2 gigahertz or something. I, I honestly, I'm being completely honest right now, I can't remember if we got that last week or not. What difference does it make? This is the uh, 9100 that used to be in my room. I now have our secondary gaming PC in my room that, that was right there. There's a TV on the table. That my brother is trying to fix. Um, of course, I ran out of SD card space or SDHC. I can't remember if it's an SD or SDHC. Card. Anyway, unimportant stuff, irrelevant. Um, anyway, yeah, as I was saying, the secondary gaming gaming PC is now in my room, and that, that TV right there is on the table. I'm going to hook this thing up over there. And I, I think I got the yeah I got the wireless working on it. We have two wireless PCI cards. One one's wait. Oh, that doesn't have a wireless card in it. What am I saying? It has a PCI uh, Ethernet card. Anyway, it's got a three gigahertz Pentium uh, four. Actually, three point two. Uh, I took the well, what, what am I saying? Uh, there was a Pentium dual core in it, like one point no. 2.8 gigahertz, but I put that in the XPS 600 because I thought it would be better suited in there. Wait, there's no hard drive in the XPS 600, is there? No, there isn't. Wait, is it? Never mind. Wait, no. That's not the XPS 600, that's the XPS Gen 2. Okay. If you can remember anything I've said where I mentioned the XPS 600 in this video, I really meant XPS Generation 2. Anyway. So, yeah, it's got a, only a gigabyte of DDR2 RAM. Okay, so I ran out of space again. I only deleted like two and a half minutes of stuff off of it. Anyway, yeah, it's got a gigabyte of 533 megahertz DDR2 RAM. I could put an, a, another gigabyte in it, but then it would only be 400 megahertz since I have a gigabyte of 533 and a gigabyte of 400. So, yeah, I put, I put a 120 gigabyte SATA hard drive in it. That was in. No. Where'd it come from? I can't remember. I honestly cannot remember where it came from. Oh, wait. No, it didn't come from there. I can't re remember. I'm, I'm sorry. But anyway. Yeah. And I need to set it up over there. And it stopped recognizing the Ethernet. To have, I'd have Ethernet plugged into it. It wouldn't see it. So like, it would think it's unplugged. So I'm thinking the Ethernet cord over there might be kind of screwed so I'm gonna hook it up over there sooner or later and uh yeah oh my gaming PC is on I turned on like 20 minutes ago I was gonna go play some Team Fortress 2 but I decided to be such a wonderful person as to make this video um so I'm, I'm just scanning over crap I forgot to say something I don't know what it was but I'm sure absolutely sure I forgot to say something uh, oh, last week, last week. Um, oh yeah, I mean, and I have an E five twenty one in my brother's room. I think I'm going to uh, make a separate video on that when we get that. I can't remember if we got that last week or 
Yeah, I think it was the last week we got that. Yeah, it was a Dimension E521. It looks pretty much exact, exactly like a 9100, except without the blackness on the side. Um, I think it's, it, might, it might be a little shorter. Shorter. Man, I gotta work my diction. I can't speak, right? I'm like... <laughs> this is how you video, guys. I, I'm sorry about that. Anyway, um... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I think we got that thing, too. I, I can't remember if we got that last week or not. Oh, it has no parts in it. Oh, let me think. We took some parts out of this. I know that. We took some parts out of it. No, we didn't. I'm sorry. I'm brain dead. I'm going to go end this video before the video camera decides it wants to stop because it realizes there's not enough space left on it. Goodbye.